son of a Colorado congresswoman, Lauren Boebert, has been arrested and charged with nearly two dozen crimes, including multiple felonies. The 18-year-old is accused of breaking into vehicles and then stealing wallets. Fox 31's Ashley Michaels is live in studio tonight with the very latest Ashley. Well, police arrested Tyler Boebert yesterday. He's already been in court and released, but he's still facing some very serious charges. Now, according to arrest documents, he's accused of playing a role in breaking into at least four vehicles in the rifle area, then using stolen debit cards. Welcome to What Was That? I'm Gabe Sanchez. Lauren Boebert, the Colorado representative who never met a man she couldn't jerk off in a public theater, has a son named Tyler, and Tyler is taking the Boebert family drama to a whole new criminal level. Weirdly, I'm not surprised. I think it's safe to say that we are not shocked that someone with the last name Boebert is in the news, and not for a good reason. It's like a cat knocking something off a shelf. It's just in their nature. Not to mention the fact that Lauren and Jason Boebert passed their stupidity on to their children. Tyler Boebert was identified by police because he wore a Shooter's Grill hoodie when committing these crimes. As in the gun theme restaurant Shooter's Grill that Lauren Boebert used to own, and yes, the same one that she gave everyone bloody diarrhea. Tyler broadcasting his family shuttered restaurant on his hoodie is almost as dumb as the Jan 6 insurrectionists who wore their work ID badges and posted videos on their social media accounts of themselves committing crimes. Now, what Tyler Boebert is being charged with is the kind of thing that would make any rational and empathetic person, especially a mother, resign from office and not seek re-election. Not that the carpetbagger has a chance in Colorado's 4th district, but hey, when you're desperate to get that congressional pension, you'll do just about anything. However, as we all know, Lauren Boebert won't do that because she's a narcissist who is more interested in her own individual fame than the well-being of her family or the people of Colorado. Look no further than Boebert's official statement. I love my son, who's been through some very difficult public challenges that he didn't ask for. Breaks my heart to see my child struggling. Translation, my son is hurting which is most likely due to my own reckless behavior, and I refuse to resign to focus on my family. She's pretty terrible. And if Lauren Boebert is really desperate for cash, she could always sell feed pics on OnlyFans.com. She's something else. Yeah, she is. On Tuesday, February 27th at 2.35 p.m., Lauren Boebert tweeted, The Biden crime family will go down as the most corrupt political family in American history. You sure about that? And I shit you not, at 2.30 p.m., just five minutes before she sent that tweet, her son Tyler Boebert was arrested. According to police, Tyler Boebert was arrested for exposing his penis to two underage girls in a bowling alley. Oops, sorry, got the Boebert men mixed up. That would be how Tyler's father, Jason Boebert, introduced himself to Lauren Boebert back in 2004. And somehow, after that moment, Lauren Boebert fell in love with Jason and said, I'ma marry that man and... I'm going to have his baby! Well, their first baby was Tyler Boebert, who you might recall from this 911 call where Jason Boebert was throwing Tyler around the house. He's just like throwing me across the house. <laughs> He got, I don't know why he got mad. He just started yelling at me and he started throwing me. <laughs> Jason Bobert. All I wanted to say, all I wanted to say is me and my dad were starting to yell at each other. He didn't really get physical with me. It was just like, I was overwhelmed. Wait, hang on. Me, me and my dad were over. Hang on. Hi. I'm the mom. Hi. Um. Okay, so. There was an argument over dinner. I understand you guys got to come and talk to them. I'm down at our second location with, I was already here getting things ready for an event. But I don't know, I was talking to him and he had said that he had called. So just to let you know, I have him, his dad's up at, at the house. Yeah, he had told me he was gonna be down at the farmhouse and I've got him headed that way to help him. It's uh, yeah, he doesn't need help, but they can they can come here. Yeah. Lauren Boebert's immediate response was to cover for her husband physically abusing their child. Great job, genius. And then there was that other time when the Boebert's neighbor called 911 twice after Jason Boebert drove over their mailbox and threatened them. If that is Lauren Boebert's jackass husband, Jason, he's running over my mailbox right now. Stop, you jackass! Get the f out of here! Sir, talk to me. His kid was racing up and down our 25 mile an hour street doing 50 miles an hour. This guy, Jason Bobert, is as dumb as a post, so irrational. Do you know who his wife is? I Lauren do. Bobert. She's okay. loaded. They all have guns. The neighbor asked Bobert's son to slow down while driving his dune buggy, to which their son told them to f 
fuck off. What a good Christian boy. And now Tyler Robert is facing 22 different charges in connection to a series of vehicle break-ins and property theft. He's accused of playing a role in breaking into at least four vehicles in the rifle area, then using stolen debit cards. The purchases were mostly at gas stations for things like fuel, snacks, even a blue Gatorade. There was also a $50 charge at McDonald's and a charge for more than 700 bucks at an online clothing shop that got flagged and declined. Now we're told this uh, happened uh, when he was with a group of friends, so it's unclear exactly who did what in this string of crimes. One of the victims that Tyler Bobert stole money from was a woman with a brain tumor who said she just had $75 left to her name, and now she won't be able to pay for her surgery. Another one of Bobert's victims says her 11-year-old daughter was left feeling scared by the ordeal. And get this, an arrest affidavit obtained by the Daily Beast said Bobert sent around a sex tape involving him and a fellow suspect who's a minor in the alleged crime spree. None of Bobert's charges are related to the reported sex tape, which police said was also alluded to by another minor quoted in the affidavit. That unnamed minor said the video was sent around to people they knew. Like father, like son. Tyler Bobert has certainly made his bed and now he's gonna have to lie in it. And speaking of bed, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you ever wake up too hot or too cold, then I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Using silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermal regulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with a silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands. And they feel as nice, if not nicer, than bed sheets used by some five-star hotels. Stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing outbreaks and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash Gabe to try Miracle Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo Gabe at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Gabe and use the code Gabe to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40%. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Gabe to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Tyler is really putting his parents' rap sheet to shame. But again, as the saying goes, Like father, like son. Or in this case, like mother, like son. I mean, you don't have to look any further than their mugshot photos. Here is Lauren Boebert's booking photo at the Garfield County Sheriff's Office on February 13th, 2017. And here is her son, Tyler Boebert's booking photo at the Garfield County Sheriff's Office on February 27th, 2024. I don't know what it is, but February seems to be a special month for the Boebert family when it comes to committing crimes. But like I said earlier, if Lauren Boebert could grasp the seriousness of this situation, she would resign and drop out of the race. Because at Bobert's most recent debate for Colorado's 4th District, she said that she wanted to give her family a fresh start. Um, so yes, I have moved into the 4th District. My boys and I needed a fresh start. That's been very public of what the home life looked like. And I'm sorry to bring that up. I've tried to put it into a very pretty package and bring my ex-husband lots of honor. Um, but since there is nothing private about my personal life, it is out there. And my boys need some freedom from what has been going on. And this move is the right move for me and for them. No, see, a real fresh start would be resigning and focusing on her family, especially when she has a child who seems to be troubled and going down a dark path. Which is not at all surprising when you remember that Bobert happily armed her children with rifles for their Christmas card photo, which was taken just days after four students were gunned down at Oxford High School in Michigan. And it also doesn't help that she's still grooming her children, taking them around to gun show conventions. Now, Tyler Bobert's 22 charges would not be the first time that he's been in the news, let alone 
alone involved in controversy. In September of 2022, Tyler was issued a careless driving causing bodily injury ticket in connection with a late night car crash in which he flipped his father's SUV into a Garfield County Creek bed. Tyler's friend, Noble Diamato, who was in the truck at the time, alleged that the accident in which Tyler was driving left him with multiple concussions and a debilitating hand injury and accused the Bobert family of covering it up. Tyler got a slap on the wrist and the Bobert family has yet to apologize to Diamato. Any of these events would cause anyone to step away from the public spotlight and focus on themselves and their family, but nope, not Bobert. She leaned in. Like when her son Tyler, who was 17 at the time, got an underage girl pregnant. And when it was revealed that the child's mother was underage, Bobert declined to reveal the age of the girlfriend other than to say that she's over 14. That's suspicious. That's weird. Call me crazy, but maybe if Bobert believed in teaching her son sex ed, this would have never happened. But who am I kidding? Bobert wants to cut funding from any school teaching sex ed. But we have to get aggressive and say, you know, there is going to be money spent um, in the Department of uh, Education uh, that is going to be funded. What do we want that funding to go towards? What do we not want it to go towards? Because there are schools that are worse than, yeah. um, that are teaching worse than just gender ideology. Yeah. I mean, uh, they have comprehensive sex ed. They're teaching kids how to have and enjoy sex uh, and even same sex sex, how to sub pleasure themselves. Wow. I mean, this is not something right. elementary students should learn or nor any student in a public school. Um, so, you know, these are the things that we need to go after and, um, and and cut their funding. Yeah, that is not a thing, but what do you expect? It's Lauren Boebert. She's a Republican and they are fueled by fake outrage and lies. And she wouldn't be a Republican if she didn't try to capitalize on her teenage son having a child. But I leaned over and I asked my husband if it was appropriate to announce this here today. So I'm going to tell you all for the first time in a public setting, that not only am I a mom of four boys, but come April, I will be a Gigi to a, grand new, a brand new grandson. And Jason and I are so excited to welcome this new life into our family. Just to be clear, Bobert is not someone that anyone should listen to about family values, let alone raising a family. I mean, she thinks it's cheaper to have a baby than pay for birth control. Oh, and remember how Bobert was strutting around DC using her son's baby as a political prop? Well, the child's mother, Naomi Rocha, who by the way is no longer with Tyler Bobert, thank God, said that seeing her son at the US Capitol was shocking because I didn't know he was gonna be on the house floor. Like I said in the beginning, Bobert doesn't care about her family. She only cares about herself. But the narcissistic carpetbagger better enjoy while it lasts because she won't be in Congress for much longer. Not only do the people of Colorado's fourth district hate Bobert, but she got 12 votes out of 100 in a straw poll. As I mentioned, nine candidates on stage tonight. The audience also took a straw poll Former state Senator Jerry Sonnenberg won that straw poll. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert finished fifth. So she is obviously hoping that things will be different on June 25th for the Republican primary. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to follow me at I am Gabe Sanchez. And if you're a fan of the show and want to contribute to keeping the lights on, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash I am Gabe Sanchez. Over there, you'll get early access to episodes, bonus content, and exclusive merch. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez and this has been, what was that? <laughs>